<sighs> GTA 5, happy 8th birthday. Um, I don't I don't have any streamers or anything for you, but I do have a few sound effects I would like to like to show you bruh, bruh, bruh. But anyways, it is Jago back again with another video and today we are celebrating GTA 5's eighth Birthday and it's kind of funny to think that we got all this disappointing news and yet we are celebrating its birthday like no more than a week later, but we could dwell and sit around and piss and moan and groan about how GTA 6 is never coming out this. The Expand Enhanced Edition was a complete sham, which it was. <coughs> I think Take 2 Interactive's choking me out. <coughs> oh, they're gonna kill me. That was like genuine coughs, by the way. But anyways, you know, we could be sitting here disappointed and moping and groping and, you know, no, not groping, sorry. We're going to be optimistic this video and look at the very positive and things we should actually be excited for with this past year of what Rockstar has actually done, along with Take-Two Interactive. And the future of GTA Online is actually probably brighter than it's ever been. I'd like to quickly mention the past three DLCs we got. In 2020, it was really, really crappy, the Summer Surprise DLC, but there was most likely things that they had planned that ended up being scrapped for the things that were going on in the world at that time. People really thought, and there was leaks showing, that Cops and Robbers was actually going to be a real thing. Whether or not that was actually going to be a real thing, I think Rockstar just kind of panicked and threw something together. The yacht missions and the new cars was what, yeah, see, Captain's calling me and wants me to do yacht missions. I don't want to do that shit. But Summer Surprise was a very bad DLC. But since then, the past two, K.O. Perico and Los Santos Tuners, have been some of the two greatest updates that we've gotten in this game. They've been listening to the community, doing little things here and there to change the quality of life. They made the first ever solo heist that actually ended up being very good, very easy, and an incredibly easy way to make money as well. The Los Santos Tuners is also a fairly solo with the contracts being really, really fun. Very great addition to the cooperative and just solo gameplay and then like just the missions overall. Very, very fun those contracts missions are and the new business of course the auto shop that got uh you know that's a solo business that you really don't need to do much for it's pretty much passive income depending on whether or not you go and deliver the vehicles yourself i suggest the mechanic or at least to have one mechanic see how you like it now that's content within gta online let's head over to the more uh legal and more pc uh things that have been happening here in gta online in the past year over the past year i believe back in was it March or April? I'm not going to look it up because it's not that big a deal, honestly. But Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive, a very good push on getting rid of mod menus and just cheaters online on the PC version of GTA Online. And I know recently I made that Save Wizard video and how there is technically mods or glitches, you could call it, to you know, bring money glitches into PlayStation or even possibly Xbox, not currently one at the time, but on PlayStation, you could do Save Wizard and get yourself hundreds of millions of billions of dollars, you know, whenever, but that's not mods, so it doesn't really affect anyone else's game. If you want to spend an extra 60 bucks to give yourself a few extra hundred million dollars, you can go ahead, but Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have been making a huge push to get rid of these mod menus, creators, and just the cheaters online as well. Which kind of correlates to the news that GTA 6 might not be coming out for another, you know, four, five, six years. Who, who the hell knows? I honestly, and I hope every single day that it won't be till 2025 and maybe 2023 or 2024 will be a, big, a better guess. But, you know, we never know. Is this guy going to follow me in his jet? I hope not. But that means GTA Online will continue getting updates and it will continue getting bigger and better. GTA Online is... It's a great game. GTA 5 and GTA Online, it, it is an amazing game. You know, this game wasn't meant to last 10, 11, 12 years, but unfortunately that's the case. And I wish Rockstar could do, and I really think they could do, a lot more to this game. I wish we had more live content updates. Uh, NBA 2K and Madden and all these other games... Even Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, they have these live content season passes. They get these, you know, weekly clothing options and stuff like that, which is cool. Limited time stuff, and I like that. And I wish there was more live content to this game, which maybe with the expanded... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. The enhanced edition, that that's kind of stuff starts showing up and actually becoming a thing. I think, like I said before, I think more now than ever, Rockstar 
cares about GTA Online and its future. Because, you know, it's going to have to last us until GTA 6. I doubt that they'll make another game unless they remaster, you know, three random past Grand Theft Auto games. But, you know, what am I saying? What do I know? I know we just got this bad news about the delay with the expanded or enhanced edition, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm going to call it the enhanced edition for now on. But I know we got that bad news about the delay, and it sucks, you know? It, it really sucks, and Rockstar has been massively disappointed in the trailers and stuff, but it's going to be free for GTA Online. On both consoles, GTA Online will be free for the new console. So, it's something that Rockstar's, like... Rockstar could easily make money reselling the game and GTA Online and stuff like that, but I think making it free shows that they want more players to come to the game and buy shark cards, obviously, but that they're going to continue updating the game, you know? I have really high hopes for next gen and just the future of Grand Theft Auto Online as well as GTA 5, and, you know, it's a great way to celebrate the birthday, staying optimistic. I never know how to script or do these videos because... GTA 5, I've played it literally, I'm one of the very few people that played it day one. I say few, as in there's like an extra 100 million GTA Online players around the world uh, now that wasn't there day one, so that's kind of what I mean. I remember being one of the coolest kids in 6th grade. Think about that, 6th grade. That was back in 2013, I was in 6th grade, and it was the very beginning of the year, I was still playing football and stuff like that, and I was one of the coolest kids, because not a lot of my friends were allowed to play GTA at the time, so I had to tell them and like send them pictures of what I was doing and stuff, and they were so interested. It was a really cool feeling, it was like being able to play Call of Duty or something while your friends weren't. Uh, it was a bit of a flex back in 6th grade, let me tell ya. you. Might, some of you guys might actually... Uh, you know be able to relate to that as well i love gta and 5 and gta online it's easily my favorite game of all time i have so many good memories on this game i always find a way to hop on this game and have fun with friends even to this day when it doesn't come to money or business grinding and doing the most efficient way for this and that and jet griefers and oppressors this game is fucking awesome what other game can you go get a lap dance fly a jetpack and rob a bank within the same hour you can't name a game <laughs> you, you really can't name a game that that is you know gta 5 is truly one of a kind and i think the future is brighter than ever and i really think rockstar is going to make strides uh to make this game more lively and have more frequent content updates because they show in some of their other games that they can do that and they will do that with red dead redemption online gta 5 and gta online will always have that special place in my heart and i hope you guys have uh, gta 5 a special place in your heart as well um it's my favorite game of all time and i you know it's had its ups and downs i've been with it since day one october 1st 2013 i remember waiting all day for that stupid race to start for the tutorial i remember to this day and i remember being upset but i was also excited am i actually stuck no okay good this game is a long 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 way from its end and i i wish i wish it would have came to an end years ago and i wish we had gta 6 believe me i'd rather wait till rockstar has gta 6 perfect for us before we start, you know, playing games that aren't finished and stuff like that. Yeah, but unfortunately, with GTA 5's 8th birthday, you know, it gets harder and harder to make these videos every year. Because it's just like, damn, where where the hell is the GTA 6 trailer? Well, uh, just show us a screenshot. Show us, show us like 12 by 12 picture or pixel of the game i uh, that would that would make me very happy you know we never truly know what's going on with rockstar or take two interactive the publishing company so you know all we have to do is sit and wait that's the that's the <laughs> that's the easiest yet hardest thing to do is just sit and wait patiently because <laughs> but yeah that's all i really wanted to talk about today is just some optimistic and things to look forward to within gta online and the possible next release of a gta game you know the disappointing news of the delay of the enhanced edition sucks yes it does it sucks and if it's just enhanced why isn't it already out you know i'm asking myself the same questions believe me i don't have your answers but it might be bigger than we know or understand so i can't really tell you <laughs> but anyways hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe let me you know what drop a comment of your favorite Grand Theft Auto 5 or GTA Online memory, whether it's with your friends or not, 
Um, and you know what? Just uh, give a quick sh happy birthday shout out to GTA 5. I can't believe it's eight years old now. I mean, God, a lot has happened in eight years, at least in my life. So, um, you know, let me let me know something cool about a memory of GTA 5 or just you know, GTA 5 in general. Uh, I do make variety content on a second channel now, so if you're wondering why I haven't been posting as much on this channel, uh, it's because I've been posting almost daily on that second channel, so if you're interested and want to see more of me, go in the description and check that out. You know, I've been working real hard on those videos. Those videos have been a blast so far. We got a nice little small community over there, so come check us out over there. I don't know what's in store for us for year 8 of GTA Online, but I know it's going to be a good one. Peace.